video uh, let us discuss about uh, uh, how to sketch the high skew and the low skew three input NAND gate and uh, determine its uh, logical effort of each of the gate during its transition. So the high skew value uh, the GU formula is equal to n by 2 plus 2 divided by 3. So since the n value the number of input is 3 uh, you have to substitute n value is equal to 3. So, you will get 3 by 2 plus 2 by 3. That is equal to 7 by 6. And GD value is equal to n by n plus 4 divided by 3. That is equal to 7 by 3. So, what is my overall G is equal to? G is equal to GU plus GD divided by 3. So, you will get um, 21 by 6 divided by 2. That is equal to uh, 7 by so, uh, let me discuss uh, this one uh, in detail. Okay. So, uh, we know what is uh, unskew value, right? Uh, what is unskew? 3 input NAND gate. So, 3 input NAND gate means uh, uh, this NMOS, 3 NMOS must be connected in uh, series A, P and C and uh, here the P MOS must be connected in parallel So, this is my output Ok so, what is the value of uh, A, B, C is uh, 2, since uh, these C tends to are connected in series, parallel and uh, this is my output, ok. So, if in, since uh, the value of N mass is 1, since the uh, 3, drink, 3 tends to are connected in series, again 1 plus 1 plus 1, and there is 3, ok, 3. So, this is nothing but your uh, unskew value of uh, 2 input uh, NAND gate. Suppose if I want to, uh, if I want a high skew value, okay, uh, high skew value of uh, of 3 input NAND gate. First, uh, let me copy this one. And uh, so here, uh, since it is high skew, so you have to reduce only the um, uh, n mass value by two. So if I divide this uh, one by two, uh, can, since it is high skew value, okay, so it becomes one point five, one point five, and one point five. Okay. So what is my uh, GU value? GU uh, it represent. Um, uh, P mass, okay. Uh, high transition value. So here, uh, this is my high and this is my um, 0 0.5 of 5. Okay. So, uh, you have to substitute, if I take the value of uh, A, okay. So, A is nothing but, uh, here it is 2 and this is 1.5. So, you add these two values, you will get 3.5 divided by 3 is my... Um, uh, denominator of uh, uh, CMOS inverter, okay. So, 3 uh, into gamma, okay. So, here the gamma value is nothing but uh, 1 because I have only I, okay. So, this is nothing but, uh, this is nothing but 7 by 6, right. So, next uh, I need to find the value of GD. So, GD is equal to, again you take the value of uh, GA. So, GA is 2 plus 1.5 is 3.5. So, if you want, you can take uh, B also. So, B also the same thing. 2 plus 1.5 is 3.5. So, 3 into gamma. So, here the gamma value is 0 0.5. So, you will get 7 by 6 uh, into 1 by 2. That is nothing but um, uh, 7 by 3. So, if I want to find the value of uh, logical effort, GU plus uh, GD divided by 2. So, that is nothing but uh, 
21 divided by 6 into 2. Okay, so you will get uh, 7 by 4 is my answer. So if you uh, if you see you can see uh, what is the value of GU? GU is nothing but 7 by 3 and uh, GD is 7 by 7 by 6, uh, G is 7 by 6 and GD is 7 by 3. So, if for highest Q value, G is always less than uh, GD. So, next uh, I, I have to go for low Q value. So, uh, the low Q's uh, formula is G is equal to 2 into n plus 1 divided by 3. So, since uh, n value is equal to 3, you substitute 3. So, you will get... Um, uh, 8 divided by 3. So, for GD is, uh, is nothing but 4 by 3. So, G is equal to GU plus GD divided by 2. So, you will get G is equal to 2. Okay. So, again, um, I am going to copy this uh, 1. So, this is my unskewed value. So, in order to get the low skew uh, value, okay. So, you have to keep the NMOS uh, same. And you have to divide the P mass by 2. Okay. So if I divide that P mass by 2, it becomes 1. Okay. So now uh, this becomes 0 0.5 of I and this becomes I. Okay. So what is my GU? GU is nothing stands for this one, right? Uh, so you have to add these two values. So you will get 4 by 3 into uh, gamma. What is GD? GD is equal to again 4 by 3 into uh, gamma. So where, what is gamma? Gamma is uh, 0 0.5 for this one. So this is nothing but 3 into uh, 0 0.5. This is nothing but 4 by 3. Okay. So, uh, this is nothing but uh, 8 by 3 and this is 4 by 3. So, what is G? G is equal to GU plus uh, GD divided by 2. So, you will get uh, 8 by 3 plus 4 by 3 divided by 2. So, that is nothing but 12 by 6. That is equal to 2. So, the next question is uh, sketch the high skew and the low skew of uh, three input NOR gate. Determine its logical effort of each gate during its transaction. So, so for high skew, uh, this is an unskewed value. So, uh, for this one, it does nothing but uh, for the value is 1, 1, 1. Since uh, three NMOS are connected in parallel. So, here the, for P mass value is 2. So, since 3 uh, P mass is connected in series, it becomes 6. Okay, 6, 6, 6. So, uh, if I want to calculate for a high skew, high skew value, uh, we just copy this one. Okay. So, you have to divide the uh, low skew value by so, if I divide the low skew value by 2 means it becomes 0 0.5. So, this is equal to 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. So, this is same. Okay, 6, 6, 6. So, this is my i and this is my 0 0.5 of i. So, what is my GU value? GU value is equal to, you take the value of a. So, a is nothing but 6.5 divided by 3 into gamma. What is GD? GD is equal to 6.5 divided by 3 into gamma. So, this is nothing but 6.5 divided by 3. Since I value is 1. And this becomes 6.5 divided by 1.5. Since gamma value is 0 0.5. Okay. So, if we solve, what is GU? G is equal to GU plus GD divided by 2. So, this becomes a uh, 6.5 divide by 3 plus uh, 13, right? Uh, divide by 2. So, this is equal to 19.5. 19.5 divide by 6. So, if we divide by 2, uh, 3, you will get 2 and um, 6.5.
Otherwise, you can write it as 3.25. So, next, uh, if you want uh, to find the value of, uh, so before that, uh, uh, we will uh, see the what is the formula for this i skew value. So, the formula is um, GU is equal to, sorry, GU is equal to 2 in 2. Two n plus uh, zero point five divided by three. Okay, and uh, GD is equal to uh, four n plus one divided by three. So if we substitute uh, three, three you will get six point five divided by three, and this one is uh, uh, three means uh, twelve thirteen by three. Okay, so you can see. This, uh, this is correct. Okay. So, next uh, we will go for the um, low skew value. So, this is my circuit. Uh, so, you have to keep the one as constant and you have to divide the 6 by 2. So, this becomes 3, 3. So, what is the value of GU? GU is equal to uh, 4. 4 divided by 3 into gamma. So, this is nothing but 0 0.5 i and this is nothing but i. So, if I substitute 4 divided by 3 into 1 by 2, that is nothing but 8 divided by 3. So, what about GD? GD is equal to 4 divided by 3 into comma. That is nothing but 4 by 3. So, what is G? G is nothing but GU plus GD divided by 2. That is equal to 12 divided by 3 into 2. That is nothing but 6 by 3 and that is equal to 2. Okay. So, what is the formula is? Um, formula is nothing but uh, uh, GU. G is equal to 2 into n plus 1 divided by 3 and G D is equal to n plus 1 divided by 3. This is a formula. So, if you substitute 3, you will get uh, 8 by 3 and this is nothing but 4 by 3. Okay. So, do same. 